kids! I'm Pastor Justin. I am Pastor PJ. Welcome back as we are launching into our new series called Legacy. What, uh, that's a kind of big word. What, what is a legacy? A le that's a good question, Pastor Justin. A legacy is something that is handed down to us from the past. Okay. So something from the past that is handed down to us. Can you think of anything in your life that may have been, it, it could be anything at all that was handed down to you from the past, maybe from a relative? Yeah, my uh, both my grandpa and my wife's grandpa served in the military. And so our grandparents handed down to us some of their medals and some of the awards oh, and, awesome. and cool identification things that, that they received in the wartime. What about, what about you? I have kind of, I don't have a, a physical thing, but even my name is kind of a legacy cool. in my family. I am the fourth Peter Pasika in a row. Wow. I know everybody calls me PJ, but my real name's Peter. Never knew. Now you know. <laughs> but, so my, that goes back to my great, great grandfather, and then my grandfather, my dad, and me, and then my son is also named Peter. So it's kind of a legacy in our family that That's was cool. given down, handed down to me. Okay, so what does legacy have to do with the Bible? You know, that's a really good question. There are lots of different things in the Bible that have been handed down, but I think probably the most important is that after Jesus' resurrection, we just talked about that in Easter, mm -hmm. after Jesus was resurrected, came back to life, he, after he went up into heaven, ascended into heaven, left us, handed down to us his Holy Spirit, which then guides us and leads us. And so I think that's a really, legacy has a lot to do with what God has done through scripture and what he's done for us today. Cool. So that's what we're going to look at in this series. But this week, for our first activity, uh, we're going to learn a little bit about how the Holy Spirit works. So what you need is some tape, like a painter's tape or a masking tape. You need a straw for everybody that's participating and a balloon that uh, is going to help us as we, as we discover just where we're going to go with this balloon. So uh, let's take a look as we explain to you and we'll have it set up so you can see exactly what to do. So here I am, I've got my straw, I've got my balloon, I've got my maze and a chair that I've even got to go under. So on this first round, what we have to do is see how effective we can be, how good we can be at this, just me going it alone, all right? Let's see how this goes. So I gotta blow and get this balloon to follow my path all the way to the end. Get okay, this one totally on your own. I'm not total, helping you total. at all. Not okay. at all, ready? There you go. If you have a bendy straw, it's really cool. All right? And that um, wasn't super great, but let's try it again with me giving you some guidance on uh, where the path is, where to turn, how hard to blow into the straw, when to stop, stuff like that. Hopefully we can go a little bit quicker. Sounds good. Go as fast as you possibly can. Okay, right. yep. you are, get set, go. Okay, you got a long little bit, you got a straight away. Keep going, keep going, you're gonna turn right. Ooh. You're gonna turn right, now you're gonna turn uh, left. Help <laughs> <laughs> my direction. You're gonna turn left, you blow hard. But not, let's stop there. Okay, go give it long straight away, go straight toward the chair. Blow hard, blow hard, blow really, really, really hard. There you go. Okay, gotta go back. You gotta go back a little bit. You went a little bit too far. Cheater! But go through the chair really, blow it as hard as you can. Through the chair and meet it on the other side. Good, you're on the other side. Turn, or you already turned. Go straight. Wow. It's kind of just following it. Keep going, you're doing good. Go, go that way, go that way, go that way, go that way for like another foot or two. And then you're gonna turn left, and then you're done. One. <laughs> yes! Whew. Good job, bud. Thanks.
Can I show you a magic trick? Check this out. Boom. That's, no that's hands. pretty impressive. Pretty good. So, that game was pretty fun. <laughs> it was. And it was a lot easier, honestly, when Pastor PJ was guiding me, when he gave me directions on what direction I'm supposed to go. I mean, I could kind of see where I wanted to go or what I was supposed to do, but uh, when, you, when you talked me through it, it was a lot easier to know what direction. Thanks, man. I'm glad I was helpful. Um, it's kind of weird. Sometimes life is kind of like that maze. It's not like a maze on the floor or anything, but you don't always know where you're supposed to turn or what you're supposed to do next. And that's what's so cool about God's Holy Spirit that guides us and shows us the way. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a really cool story in the book of Acts that there's a disciple named Philip. And he is guided by the Holy Spirit to kind of go out in the middle of nowhere to meet a man from a country called Ethiopia. That's a good word. Can you say Ethiopia? Ethiopia. A, I can a, say it. It is a fun country named Ethiopia. To meet him and basically God used Philip to help change this man's life. That's really cool because that leads us to today's main point, which is that the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. Say that with us. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit helps, helps us want to know God. God. Let's check out this week's video. Hey, old chicken nuggets, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, kiddos. It's so good to see y'all today. I've had an awesome week. Earlier this week, I went to my Maymaw's house to see all the things she had in her basement. Oh, don't worry. She told me I couldn't. She said there was a lot of things in there that she would pass down to me one day. As soon as I walked in, I found a dollar on the ground. Turns out it was just a piece of chocolate, though, which was awesome. Then I found a list of New Year's resolutions I made a year ago. New Year's resolutions are things that you want to get better at or complete by the end of the next year. I used to write them and send them to my mama ever since I was a kid. Turns out she kept them all in one box. And oh man, did I make some great resolutions. Mind if I read them out loud? I'll read them anyway. I put them all on the interweb. <laughs> Number one, gain five pounds. You see, a lot of people want to lose weight, but I figure I should gain some weight. Couple of cheeseburgers and bam, <laughs> I was there. Easiest resolution ever. Number two, quit spending so much money. I did great with this goal. Knocked it out of the park. Sure, maybe because I had no money, but hey, <laughs> I did it. New Year's resolution number three, only believe in what you see. Now this is a good one. You see, I heard that phrase a long time ago from someone very old and very wise. Only believe what you can see. But I feel like I haven't done a good job of that. So let's try. But first I gotta think of things that we believe in that we can't see. All right, gravity. What is gravity? It's what makes everything fall? All right, why well, I refuse to believe in gravity. All right, electricity. All right, I'm gonna look straight up into the lights to prove I don't believe in electricity. Yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, last one, air. Now people say air is super important, but <laughs> you can't even see it. So you heard it here first. I, Carl, do not believe in air. <gasps> Carl, what's going on, man? Look, man, it's been a long time, man. How you been doing? Carl, Carl, I, I, I said, how are you? How are you doing? Carl, Carl, blink twice if you need help, bro. Blink. Carl, breathe, man. Breathe. <sighs> Bro, what in the world are you doing? What is what is going on? I don't believe in air. What do you mean you don't believe in air? Well, I've made the decision. I'm not believing in anything I can't see. <laughs> oh, man. DJ, why are you laughing? I'm sorry, bro. That's just the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> you don't believe in air. Uh, uh, I don't believe. <laughs> you, you're crazy, Carl. You're crazy, man. <laughs> What's so funny? Carl, we have to believe in things we don't see. That's just life. Really? Okay. What about the Holy Spirit? What about it? Well, he is something we can't see. And you better believe he's real. Look. 
Open up your Bibles to Acts 8. Should we read it? Let's go! I mean, you have Philip, right? A man who loves Jesus, being told by the Holy Spirit to go south on a road. Then he sees another man from Ethiopia who was reading the book of Isaiah. Yep. And then the Spirit told Philip to go meet him. But the thing is, the Ethiopian couldn't understand what he was reading. So Philip helped him and got to explain the good news of Jesus. Then after a while, they passed a body of water and the Ethiopian realized there's no reason that he has to wait to get baptized. He wanted to make the decision to follow Jesus right then and right there. Right, so they walked down to the water and Philip baptized the Ethiopian. Then out of nowhere, Philip was taken by the Holy Spirit to a completely different place. I know, this is incredible. I guess I was wrong. Oh, you mean about the whole believing only what you can see thing? Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Of course. Jesus promised us that he would send the Holy Spirit when he went up to heaven. The Holy Spirit makes us strong and helps us. Help us how? <laughs> With everything. Like when you're upset, the Holy Spirit will comfort you. When we need wisdom, the Holy Spirit will give it to us. And when we need help understanding God better, the Holy Spirit is right there to help. Wow, that's really good news. Because I have a lot of questions about my faith and about God. So the Holy Spirit will help me? Absolutely, Carl. The Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. Great. <laughs> Wait, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. The Holy the Spirit Holy helps, Spirit us, want helps us to want to know yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Good job, everyone. Hey, TJ. I really like that story. Man, me too, man. It's one of my favorites. I can see why. But you know, TJ, I'm still not sure on this whole electricity thing. Really? Why? I don't know. It just seems like kind of suspicious. Whoa, what, what happened? Well, I didn't believe in electricity, so I just stopped paying the electric bill to see what would happen. Turns out it gets really dark. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Hey, kids, y'all have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. Hey, kids, welcome back to Grow Kids. I've got two of my friends here from The Rock helping me do this demonstration. So, Keith, what you have to do is get this yellow balloon into this can. Now, Beth, what you have to do is prevent this yellow balloon from getting into this can with that fan. It all rhymes so well, okay? Ready? So when you're ready, you can fire that up. Oh, we got it pointed the right way this time? Okay, all right, Keith. Oh, come on, Keith. Oh, come on, Keith. Come on. Back it up. No! No! You get up. Come on. Okay. It finally back. It doesn't like you. Wait for it. Okay, okay. Why was that so difficult? Lighter than the wind. Okay, but could you see the wind? No. You couldn't. You couldn't see the wind at all. So how did you know that it was even there? I felt it. And you I, felt it. And I saw the thing. <laughs> I see the wind. <laughs> okay, when you go outside on a windy day, Beth, can you see the wind when you're outside on a windy day? No. No, you cannot. So how do you know the wind is blowing? Because it feels cool. It feels cool. What else? Well, how do you know the wind is blowing outside on a windy day? The leaves are going. Everywhere. Leaves are going everywhere. Yeah, so the Holy Spirit is like the wind, right? We don't always know that it's there because we can't always see it, but we see the effects of it, right? Just like the wind blowing everything around. So uh, the, the wind of the Holy Spirit blew the balloon, not where it wanted to go, right? And the Holy Spirit guides us and travels with us. So I hope you guys learned something about the Holy Spirit today, and we'll see you next time.
for is for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Well, thank you guys for joining us today for Grow Kids. Hopefully you were able to have some fun and learn something about the legacy of the Holy Spirit that Jesus gave us. And hopefully you remember the big idea for the day. Can you say it without me having to remind you? I wonder. The big idea for today is the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. And that's why the Holy Spirit led Philip to the Ethiopian to help him to know God. That is why Jesus has given us his Holy Spirit to help us know God more. I think that's a pretty great thing that God wants us to know him and God wants to know you more as well. So let's pray as we close out for today. Lord God, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving us enough that you want us to know you and you want to know us more. Help us to share you with everybody we meet and to know you more through, um, through seeking you out, through the guidance of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for all of this, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining us. Remember, God loves you so, so much, and he calls us to love him and love those around us. Have an awesome day.